All right, welcome to my next video. Today, uh, we're going to be reviewing Cody Green, Perfect Buddy Georgia. Uh, this guy's pretty interesting. He um, he does look like Eminem from 2007. You know, tell me that's not a resemblance. <laughs> he looks just like him. Uh... Apparently, let me look this up, Cody Green. Apparently, he's from a really nice nice area of Georgia when he claims to be from the streets. Um, it says here on the Catch a Predator wiki. Yeah, a hood-born hustler from the main streets when in, rea when in reality he lived in, oh, where are we, Alfreda, Georgia? So... Just a, just a typical white guy who likes to dress up like a like a gangster. Um, he's got some of the most quotable lines in all of TCAP. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Cody Green even gets there that he could be trouble. He's got a, a history with police. He was on a probation for drunk driving. He tells me in our discussion that he got into trouble again for, I guess, leaving the scene of an accident. And um, here he is, about to get in trouble yet another time. Yeah, that's trouble, but uh, I've heard of worse. You know, that's trouble, but I've heard of worse. I'm quite diplomatic. I like to sort of, you know, give, give, a, give everyone a fair shot. That's trouble, Chris, but there's been worse that have showed up, let's be honest. He's not... Then again, I'm not defending him. I'm just saying it's been worse. Coming for the handcuffs. He's coming he for coming. the other thing. He wants to be Chris Hansen. I wonder what Frag's up to these days. I'm not going to look it up because I don't care enough, but I wonder what this fucking guy's up to. <laughs> How do you get a job messaging people pretending to be 13-year-olds? 13, 13, 13 you know, How do you get that job? That would be a pretty funny job, man. Cody Green shows up in this fairly new, expensive, you know. And right away we get a look at this outfit. He's got a white cap, oversized white shirt, black jeans, and probably white Jordans or something, because he's got a Jordan hat. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool guy. Cadillac SUV. Maddie. Hey, here. Here. Yeah, I'm just going to drop this in the washer, but I'm making some sweet tea. Come on in. He comes in, he's got his cap on, and he's ready to, to meet his dream date. Yeah, I made some tea and it's on the table. Did you bring me my chocolate? And he, he just follows her in without saying a word. What a fucking weirdo. Hey! Why don't you just step right over there, please? I think he says, what's up, man? Should you have a seat right in that chair? Please sit down. I'm in the green with him, so I swear. To you. I, I need I need you to sit down, and you can tell me all about it. I promise. Please, sir. I really drove this far for no reason. You drove. <laughs> Please, sir. I really drove this far for no reason. This far for no reason. Yes, sir. I swear to you. I asked her, and I swear to you. I asked her this. I you asked. You asked who? I asked Maddie. Take, take your time. I'm gonna let you explain the whole thing. So it's fine. I said, if this is really not what you're looking for, I really want you to tell me that because i will come over and i will i swear i will just be with you and i will not touch you anything. and he's i don't know what he's rambling on about here i don't really it's this predator he's not in my top 10 i i don't really like this guy he's sort of he's just a hmm he's odd he's an odd guy you know he, he rambles on here about virtually nothing you know thing like that is what i said and i can prove that to you i will show it to you You'll show me how. Please, I really, I swear, sir, I'm a desperate person. I need a girl in my life, and... <laughs> oh, man. What a fucking loser. I'm, if she really wanted to be my friend, that would be all I needed for her. I've never hurt anyone. I've never done anything. I would not have hurt her. Now, yeah, but what you don't understand, Cody, is you can't talk to anyone who's underage. 
It's considered rape. Are you stupid or are you deaf? It's considered rape. You can't be friends. Rule it off your list. Drive back to Alfreda, Georgia. What did you bring with you? Chocolate, like she asked me. He's most likely there to get food for the decoy. I think she said that was one thing he was supposed to do. And White chocolate? That, yes, sir. That's what I told her I was bringing. What about condoms? Yes, sir. I have them also, but... So he has them too. So this whole story is a, f a big load of shit, really. You know, this whole story is a load of shit. And I'm sort of sitting here, and this is how my personal personality is. I'll explain it for anyone who's listening or cares. <clears throat> People who say, you know, what they're about or what they're going to do, I believe them just because I'm like, oh, yeah, he says it. He, he means it. You know, it's just who I am. I just believe people. But, you know, the older and older I get, not that old, I'm only 26, but, you know, um... I just realize that they're not genuine. And this guy's not genuine if you brought condoms. That was not my intention, I swear to you, sir. What were you going to use the condoms for? She told me to bring them also. So you did everything just because she told you Yes, to. sir, I swear to you that is the reason for it. Then why did you send her pictures like this? Because she asked me to. She asked you to send she pictures. She asked me to send new pictures, I know. <laughs> <laughs> nude pictures I don't think I have ever sent well no no I know I have never sent a, a oh god I'm digging a digging a grave here but I have never seen a nude picture seriously I mean yeah I've seen such I've, I've seen pictures of my dick to people <laughs> but it's never been serious you know it's been joking around Oh man, I'm going off track. I've never seriously been like, hey, look at this. You know, hey, you know, I'm, oh man, this is so sexy. Look at this. You know, that's not me. Oh my God, I just went, <laughs> I just went off track, but it's true. It's the truth, sir. I really did this for no reason. Right. So there's a big difference between sending a photograph of yourself and sending pictures of your genitals. It's not like the decoys are asking to be sent these pictures. I mean, this, these guys offered right up. Did you say you are ready to have my thang in your mouth? Yes, sir. What do you mean by that? Yep, big contrast to your little poor me story. Are you ready to have my in your mouth? Look at the size of his fucking ears. He can probably hear me talking right now. They must pick up fucking FM and AM radio. <laughs> Take that hat off. It makes them look big. You know what I mean? Because she was, she was going with it. She was. Oh, so she wanted it. That's what it it's seemed like fault. to me. She says, "You don't mind? I'm a virgin." You say, "If you don't mind me taking it from you, I actually would love it and never have been with a virgin." I know it's not respectful, but I was just asking her if she wanted to do that or not. This is not even like I was just looking for girls that were this young and I was looking to get in trouble and everything like this because I was telling her this. I was like, this is illegal on phone conversations, on online, stuff like that. And I was like, you swear to me, you're not going to get me in trouble. And I... Oh, the, the intelligence level of these people, it blows me away. I'm not a smart guy. And I know that this is wrong and illegal. I think they're just making up a big story, really. I swear I will never disrespect you is what I was pretty much meaning to So you're the victim here? No, sir, I'm not the victim. I came here for, yes, for reasons like that. But if she really didn't want it, sir, I swear to you, I would have never tried it. But if... And that may be true. Okay, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that may be true what he's going on about that may be true if she didn't want it he wouldn't have done it or the fact still remains like i've said before they are under age they are under the age of consent there's a law there you are breaking the law Even if she says, yes, let's do it. I live in fucking Georgia. 
come come to my house in your white tracksuit in your Cadillac SUV, you still can't do it because it's breaking the law. But you're too stupid to realize that. And here's the other thing. No one's ever taught me the law. I just know that the, that that's the law. You know, you, you understand? I know that that's the law. So you know that that's the law. Because you're breaking the law. <sighs> Goodness me. She was open to the idea. Yes. You would have had sex with a 13-year-old girl. Probably, yeah. Why? Because it's so alluring to have sex with a 13-year-old girl? It's just something that you, you'll probably never have again. That would be probably the cleanest, best pleasure, I would say. The cleanest. And uh, I thought I would laugh at that, but that just makes me cringe a little bit. The cleanest, best pleasure. Okay, I've got two parts. I'll just, I'll try and get, get through it quickly. Number one, part one, the cleanest, best pleasure. The most overused line in TCAP. It's a hilarious quote. Everyone uses it. I get it. It's funny. Um, quote number two, uh, reason number two. What? What is so you know, intriguing about a 13-year-old. What's so intriguing about that? That's just, you know, that's just R. Kelly. That's just disgusting. What's wrong with you? You need to go see a count... Oh, my God, excuse me. You need to go see a counsellor. You know, what's so intriguing about a 13-year-old? God, different strokes. It's the best pleasure yes, sir. is to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. Yes, yeah, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. I gotta say it here on a Thursday night. There's something wrong with you. You can't code any girls who are 20 years old. No, sir. I really can't. You got that nice truck out there. Yes, sir. Got the clothes thing going on. <laughs> Look, it's funny. It's funny, but he makes some good points. He makes some good points. You've got a nice car out there. Very nice. That's an expensive car. Actually, let's look it up. Why not? Why not? We're not doing anything. Caddy, how do you spell it? Cadillac Escalade. We'll just type in Escalade, eh? We'll type it in. You know, that's a nice car. Look at it. That's a nice car. All right, let's type in the next thing. Clothes thing. <laughs> no, just kidding. But, we'll, you know, you've got a nice car. Oh, no, I just went out of it. Good. Are you ready to have my... In your mouth. I, I apologize for that. I clicked the button. I clicked the wrong button. I'll get back to where we were. Probably, sir. Girls. Girls are out there. I, I apologize for that. I clicked the wrong. I clicked my back on the mouse button. Yes, sir. Got the clothes thing going on. So, yeah, we're back where we were. He got the clothes thing going on. He's got the nice truck. You know, girls his age, they're quite materialistic. I get it. I do get it. Um, But. Oh god, I got nothing. I got nothing. I was thrown off by clicking the wrong fucking button. That's that's material, sir. Girls, girls look deeper for what they want, guys. Well, yeah. Oh man, I do kind of. I I understand that's material. Yeah, I get it. But okay, bear in mind the fact remains that this is a thirteen-year-old. You can't do that. But there will be a girl out there who understands what you're trying to put, you know, come across as. There will be. But you've already fucked it up, so, you know, I'm 14 years too late. That's something you got to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. H have you seen one of our computer predator shows before? Throws up a few gang signs to the camera. This is one of them. We're doing stories on adults who try to meet teens on the internet for sex. If there's anything else you want to tell us, we'd like to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door. Now, I was thinking about this today when I was doing a bit of research for this video, and this would be a fate worse than death, in my opinion. To be labeled as, you know, the cleanest, best pleasure guy, to be Cody Green, to be videoed while you're doing this, and Surama being taped, you know, it would just be the worst. This would be a fate worse than death. In my humble opinion. <laughs> he says there, thank you for making me waste my gas. Come on, Cody. <laughs> Come on, Cody. This is 2006. Gas for your Escalade wasn't that, dear. 
and that just proves that he doesn't give a fuck about anyone but himself, you know, thanks for making me waste my gas, you know, despite the fact you could have ruined somebody's 13 year old life with your actions, you know, fuck that, you made me waste my gas, damn, I can't get any more gas, I'll just have to go and ask daddy for some more money to go buy some more, <sighs> fuck, And that shirt's too big. Buy, buy a proper shirt your own size. That's too big. And those jeans are too big. You look ridiculous. You look stupid. Please, free! Free! Put your hands up! Hands up! Down the ground! Down the ground. Down the ground. It's got a red dot. Is that a taser? What is that? On the ground! 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 Down! Spread out! Spread out! Legs around! All the way! All the way! All the way! All the way! There you go! All the way! This is the background out here. Put your legs. He pulls the fingers to the camera. <laughs> I, I'm not mad. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, Cody Green. Based upon the items found in his SUV, it looked like Cody Green was planning to spend the night. I mean, he had spare clothes, condoms, you know, everything was there. Watch this. Follow him, follow him. He is not back. Yeah, we've already seen what you look like, idiot. Back and down, Cody Green, you know, gives the cameraman the finger. He's defiant till the end. Defiant till the end, I do get it though. You would be though, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you be? You've already lost everything. Why not pull the fingers to the cameraman? Sure. Oh god, look at that computer. Samsung, that is old. That just gave me a little, like, shiver. I fucking hope to God I am never in this position. Look, roll finger, right, f capturing right thumb. That just, that looks like hell on earth. I'm going to need you to take a shower, shampoo, and change out and put on one of the black and white uniform. Uh, yep, a fate worse than death. A fate worse than death. I'm calling it. Um, I mean, you get caught once. You take your punishment, you get some help, and you move on with your life, but you get caught twice. I mean, that raises serious questions about your ability to be rehabilitated. I think a lot of these guys, once they're caught, realize how stupid it was for them to do it. Some of these guys just don't ever think it could happen to them. Police, FBI, they do these investigations across the country every day, but they can only be in so many places. So the odds are overwhelmingly in the potential predator's favor of not getting caught. In spite of the challenges, we still had 24 guys show up in like four days. Some of these guys got, you know, four years or more in prison. Cody Green has yet to be tried. He's pleaded not guilty. Criminal attempt. Criminal attempt. Criminal attempt. <music> Commit sodomy. Oh my god. Yeah, and this is fucked too. This is back in like 2007, but... Yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. And yeah, oh, there he is, Jesus rocks. Yep, now that'll that will pretty much do it for Cody Green. What do we got here on the on the <coughs> on the wiki? He was twenty then. Um, let's look up Cody Green now. Let's check it out. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Cody Green then and now and read it. Let's have a look. Look at this guy now. Wow, it's amazing. Time just... Oh, time just goes by so fast. <laughs> the kind of guy who would stream himself mess... Ugh, okay, yeah. So, obviously, this guy's a piece of shit. So, good on you, Chris Hansen. 
and that will pretty pretty much do it. You drove this far for no <laughs> That'll pretty much do it for Cody Green. Uh, thank you for everyone for subscribing to my channel. Uh, comment a predator you want to see reviewed, and I will get onto it. I won't be able to do any for the next couple of days, but I will get onto it as soon as I can. So I'll see you guys on the next one.